this is Mr. Corb. Today we're going to talk about two-point perspective. We're going to start real quick with the rules of thumb of two-point perspective. And I'll write these down as we go along. The first rule of perspective, uh, the first rule of thumb for two-point perspective is that there is one horizontal line. There's only one horizontal line when we're dealing with the technical end of two-point perspective, and that is the horizon line. So let's just take a moment and draw out our horizon line. So there's the one horizontal line we're going to use throughout this particular drawing. The second rule of thumb is that all vertical lines are vertical. If you know a little bit about one point perspective, that's pretty much the same. All vertical lines are vertical. The third rule of thumb is that all diagonal lines Now all the diagonal lines are going to recede or go to one of your two vanishing points. So all diagonal lines go to one of the two vanishing points. Uh oh, ran out of room here. And so speaking of those, we're going to drop in our vanishing points right now. Generally speaking, our vanishing points are going to be way off of the picture plane. But for this exercise, we're going to put our vanishing points at the very, very edge of our picture plane. Not, not one inch in, not two inches in, but at the very, very edge where the paper and the table meet. So the diagonal lines are going to recede to the vanishing point. We're going to start with a vertical line above our horizon line. So somewhere above your horizon line, we're going to draw in, there we go, we're going to draw in a vertical line. Now the closer you put it to the edge of your paper, the sharper your vanishing is going to happen. It's going to go back really fast. So we're going to start with one vertical line. From the top of that vertical line, we're going to go to our right vanishing point, and I'm going to draw it all the way through, all the way through my text here. And then from the bottom, I'm going to draw it all the way to my vanishing point also. as much text to draw through that time. There we go. So there's one side of my box. Now from the top of that vertical line, we're going to draw to our left vanishing point all the way down, Oops. and then from the bottom all the way down to that vanishing point. So with the bell sounding like that, let's just take a minute to pause. Go ahead, if you haven't already, draw in your horizon line, draw in your right vanishing point, and draw in your left vanishing point. I also want you to draw in one vertical line from the top of that vertical line to your right and the bottom, bottom to your right vanishing point and then from the top to your left vanishing point and the bottom to your left vanishing point. Go ahead and do that. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to create the back edges of this cube because we can't have an infinite box. Again, we're uh, not super wealthy, although some of us might be. I'm certainly not. So I have to have a box that has an end to it. So what I'm going to do is draw a vertical line somewhere to end this edge of the box. So between the top of this diagonal and the bottom diagonal, I'm going to draw in a vertical line. And I'll do the same thing on the other side from the top vertical, top diagonal line to the bottom diagonal line, I'm going to draw in a vertical line. So now I've got the back edge of one box, or one side of the box, and the back 
edge of the other side of the box. What am I missing? That's right, we're missing the bottom of the box. So the next step is to draw from this bottom corner to the opposite vanishing point. So using my ruler, I'm going to draw a diagonal line from this bottom corner to the opposite vanishing point all the way, at this point at least. And then from this bottom corner to my other opposite vanishing point, the right vanishing point. And where they intersect is where your box ends. So you've got that. Now with the magic of a piece of chalk, I can go in here. You're using a pencil. I'm going to erase my lines the lines that I don't need. I'll go ahead and take that. Time and do that. Can you raise that stuff? At some point we're going to stop drawing all of the lines that we don't need and we're going to end them at certain points. But until we get to that point we're just going to do a lot of erasing. That brings up rule of thumb number four. And rule of thumb number four is always use a ruler. Oh, yep. Number four is always use a ruler to draw our line straight. Always use a ruler. Very similar to the rules of thumb for one point perspective. Rule number five is, and this is how we should always start all of our drawings, draw very lightly in pencil. Pencil is a lot easier to erase in marker or pen, so that's why we do that. And then rule number six, we've already talked about this one, is our vanishing points, vanishing points are at the edge of, if not off of, your picture plane. So, take a minute, make sure you got all the rest of these rules of thumbs written down and that you know about them. Let's go ahead and draw in the back edge of one side, the back edge of the other side, and then draw in the diagonal lines for the bottom of the box. Go ahead and take care of that. What we're going to do now is we're going to be drawing a box beneath the horizon line. So what we'll do is we're going to start with one vertical line. Start with a vertical line to show that front most corner. This time instead of drawing my lines all the way to my vanishing points like I did in the first cube, I'm going to draw the lines toward the vanishing point, but I'm going to stop at a certain point. I know that they go all the way to the vanishing points, but I don't need to draw them all the way to the vanishing points. So from the top of my vertical line, whoop, I'm going to draw to the, from the bottom of my vertical line to my left vanishing point. And then I'm going to do that again, this time, to my right vanishing point. From the top to my right vanishing point, and from the bottom to my right vanishing point. <coughs> Remember that we can't draw on forever. We don't want to have it look like a, a set of railroad tracks necessarily. We could, I suppose. That would be kind of a strange, that would be a long fence, I guess. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw our vertical lines in to create the back edge of those boxes, of that side. So draw in my vertical line to show the back edge there. Draw in my vertical line to show the back edge there. And so I have the left side of my cube and the right side of my cube. What I need to do now is I have to create a top to this cube. So again, using my ruler, rule number four, always use your ruler, from the back right corner to its opposite vanishing point. I'm going to draw to my left vanishing point. 
I don't have to draw that line all the way. I have to draw it as far as I think it's going to go. Then from the back left upper corner to my right vanishing point, and where those lines intersect, that's the back edge of my cube. So because you're drawing very lightly in pencil, you can go ahead and erase that stuff that doesn't need to be there, those little bits of diagonal that don't need to be there. And there you've got a cube beneath your horizon line. So this one is now beneath the horizon line. we got one more to do. We don't have much space to do it, but go ahead, give that a shot beneath the horizon line. Remember our rules of thumb? And remember the steps. You can pause and back up and rewind and whatever you need to do. The last cube we're going to deal with is one that is on the horizon line that goes from beneath to above the horizon line. This paper is getting a little full. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a line, a vertical line that goes beneath my horizon line and above my horizon line. Just like that. From the top of the vertical line, I'm going to draw toward, again, same steps. I'm going to draw toward my right vanishing point, and I'm going to draw from the bottom of that vertical line toward my right vanishing point. So I've got one side of my cube started. From the bottom of my left, I'm sorry, from the bottom of my vertical line to my left vanishing point. And then from the top of that first vertical line towards my left vanishing point. Again, I'm getting I'm drawing smarter. I'm not drawing those lines all the way to the vanishing points because I don't need to. I know that they're going to end. And now to wrap this one up, two things to do draw in our vertical lines to end our box. Make sure that's straight. Straight as the eyeball is going to do this time. So there's the back edge of that wall. Here is the back edge of this side. Make sure that's straight. And I'm not drawing a transparent box. So what I'll do is take my eraser, I'll get in there, and I'll erase that horizon line inside the box. Like that, I'll erase all the extra little lines that I've got on there. There we go. And so now, I have a box on the horizon line. On the horizon line. Just by knowing these basic aspects of drawing these three cubes, there's so a lot you can do. We can, draw, we can draw steps and we can draw ramps and we're going to put windows in. And, and so if you just keep these rules of, thumbs, <laughs> rules of thumb in when drawing two-point perspective, you'll have no problem drawing basically anything you want. So back this up, take a look at it, draw anything you want, and uh, 14th, 2011. Thanks.